Arresting again, returning to Baltimore, Maryland, at the Baltimore Civic Center on Saturday night, July the 25th. Donning the tights will be Lou Albano's tag team combination of the Moon Dogs. It is very likely that the Moon Dogs will cough up the tag team title in Baltimore as they oppose Tony Guerrilla and Rick Martel. Waiting in the wings anxiously, I might add, on this date of July 25 will be the magnificent Morocco, hopeful of becoming the Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion at the expense of the title holder, Pedro Morales. And then from there, truly the only legend in professional wrestling donning the tights, Bruno Sammartino, squaring off against King Kong Muska. And our guest at the moment, the Grand Wizard. The Grand Wizard along with the magnificent Morocco. This is somewhat of a grand occasion, is it not? It is for me because the Intercontinental Championship belt was originally won by one of my protégés and it's going to be taken back. No pepper belly is worthy of wearing that belt. Not when you have magnificent standing before you. All the people at home need to do is open their beady bloodshot eyes and look at true magnificence in all its splendor. And that magnificence is what you're going to face, Morales, and what the magnificent one has in store for you. Only he knows. Is that correct, Crusader? Sometimes I believe that Pedro Morales never went to school at all. When I sit and listen to the guttural tones that he tries to imitate the English language with, I wonder, is there something I can do for the man? Maybe, maybe by taking the thumb, maybe by taking the spike, the Asiatic spike, and driving it down deep, deep, deep into his throat. You think his vocabulary may improve at that point? You think he might feel, he might feel the need to scream out? He might feel the need to say the word? He might feel the need to tell somebody, it's over, baby. No more amigo, baby. Say adios, baby. And there's your new intercontinental champion. The Grand Wizard, along with what may very well be the next intercontinental heavyweight champion, the magnificent Morocco. Our guest now, King Kong Muska. And King Kong Muska could very well put an end to a legend in Baltimore. Mr. Muska, there's no doubt that indeed thus far in the World Wrestling Federation, you have pretty much done exactly as you say. You walk, you talk, you do exactly as you please. But I just wonder what will happen when you meet up with Bruno. You know, I'm also a legend of my times, Bruno San Martino. I'm a legend in a different sport in a different country, but that's history. That's what you will be <laughs> when I pin you in Baltimore, Maryland. is nothing but history. Bruno, when I get done with you, you're going to be wandering along the Potomac trying to find out exactly what happened to you in the ring that night because King Kong Mosca can walk and talk wherever he wants. So, Bruno, it's very advantageous to me because I've been wrestling day after day. You've been resting on laurels. We had football players resting on laurels. They're not here today. And when I'm done with you, you won't be there tomorrow either. So, Bruno, if you're thinking of resting on your laurels, Get off that fat can of yours and get conditioning because you're going to face a man, 319 pounds, who walks and talks. And he is going to become a legend of two countries, not only Canada, but USA. Mr. Albano, just a quick word. The you want me to keep team, it down? Am I the, talking the, too much? Go ahead. The tag team title match? Tag team title match. Tony Guerrero and Rick Mattel against the Moon Dogs. I contemplated victory. I am confident. I feel we have the ability, the speed, the agility, and I'm ready, baby. Thank you.